Okay, this is a set of readings that I'm doing for the final four signs of the zodiac for the 1st of May 2011. So we're going from uh, Sagittarius through Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Final four signs of the zodiac. I'm just going to shuffle these cards at random. I've taken the major arcana cards from the Voyager Tarot deck. There's 22 cards all together. I'm just going to shuffle, take a card at random for. Sagittarius and it's the Devil's Play card has come out for you. That just means live life lightly. Take every day as it comes and look for the playfulness. Look for something you can make a game out of. Make something uh, challenging but also competitive and have some fun with it. It's also about sexual expression as well. So it's about expressing yourself creatively and sexually. So that's the card for Sagittarius, put that one back and shuffle again. Here we go. Quickly, and this time it's for Capricorn. And the card that's come out is the Empress card. And the Empress is about it's about fertility, it's about generosity, and it's about starting small. There's a lot of small flowers on that card and it's uh, it's about the abundance of the earth but it's about starting small and building up and becoming bigger over time. So incremental improvement is another way of, of expressing that. It's improving things a little bit at a time, one day at a time, one step at a time. Starting with the least you can possibly have which is just over zero or zero is the least, but just over zero is where you want to be starting, just to confirm that it's something is possible. Do something on a small scale, and then do it again on a larger scale, do it again on a larger scale than that. Uh, correct what needs to be corrected along the way, do it again on a larger scale, and correct what needs to be corrected, improve what needs to be improved, and then somewhere along the line you'll be fine, you'll make some good progress, and you'll get better at what you're doing. So that's for, so for Capricorn. Now for Aquarius, quickly shuffle again. And it's a lover's card that's come out for you. So uh, it's just a card that indicates you need to take a look at your relationships. Uh, take some time to assess things in a reasonably logical way, take a look at how much attention you're paying to people in terms of uh, partners, children, business relationships, anything that's a relationship, a personal people to people relationship is something that you need to be looking at. Okay, so that's from Aquarius and move on to Pisces. And Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. It's a water sign. I'm just going to quickly take a card for Pisces. And the card that's come up is Time Space, which gives me a whole wide range of things to talk about. But with Pisces, it's about, uh, again, about emotion, because Pisces is a water sign, so we'll focus on the emotional side of things. It's about managing your emotions effectively. Now, there are some techniques that you can use which will help you to manage emotion. Uh, more effectively to turn negatives into positives is something called emotional freedom technique which I quite like which is a, a combination of, of acupressure and affirmations uh, I consider that to be very good and I recommend that to you as a, a way of managing your emotions okay so that's the readings for the last four signs of the zodiac for May the 1st 2011 uh, thanks once again for your time. Thank you for watching. You can find more readings like this on tarotreading.tv and I'll be posting some more readings uh, tomorrow. So thanks once again for your time.